Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. This week, I'm going to cover an app that was suggested to me by a member in the Screencasts Online Slack channel. Now, as an aside, you can access the Slack channel for free using the link in the footer on the Screencasts Online website. The app I'm going to cover is a browser. It's called Arc, and it's by the browser company. Arc is based on the Chromium engine, so the underlying technology is the same as used by the Chrome browser. And as such, you have access to the huge range of plugins available for the Chrome browser, including such things as 1Password. I've been using the Arc browser for several weeks now, fully expecting to try it for a few days and then switch back to Safari. However, I have to say that the different approach to web browsing and how you organize things in Arc have kept me using the app on my Mac, even prompting me to change it to my default browser. There is an iOS version of Arc available, but it's a work in progress, so I won't be covering it in this week's screencast. At the time of recording, uh, Arc isn't fully available, but it's quite easy to get a copy. Just go across to arc.net and then click on try it for yourself and just enter your email address to be put on the waiting list. Now, I downloaded this a couple of months ago now, and it literally took me one or two days to wait for it to be made available. Now, I have reached out to the browser company to see if I could get special access for Screencast Online members. And if I'm successful, I'll post that either in the show notes or on the newsletter. But anyway, I've already downloaded and installed it. So let me go ahead and uh, show you what it looks like when you run it for the first time. So I'm just gonna run it from the finder. So let's run Arc. Now there is quite a nice opening sequence with this uh, graphic and some background music. And it just takes us through. We'll just let that wait until we get to the login screen. Now you will have to create an account. Now the reason for creating an account is that you can synchronize uh, most of the settings across to a different Mac. So you need to go ahead and create an account. I'll just uh, speed this up, put in my password and we'll continue. Now there are some setup screens and some splash screens, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say start setup. So basically you can import from Chrome or Safari. I'm not going to do this now. I'm gonna do this later because I, I wanna start off with a clean sheet, but you can import your bookmarks if you're a Safari or Chrome user. So we'll do this later. You can customize Arc. One of the big things that it promotes is its customization, but I'm gonna show you that later. So we'll just go ahead and we'll click next. Now you can select favorite applications and services that you use quite often and configure them prominently uh, within Arc. But I will go through that with you later. So we'll just go ahead and click next. If you're a big Gmail user or use a lot of Google services, you can sign into Google using Arc and get access to these things called Arc previews. Now, I'm not a big Google user. I use Google search, but I don't use Gmail and I don't really use any other Google services such as Calendar. So I'm gonna leave this for now. It says do it later, but literally I'm just gonna skip this and uh, we'll look at this perhaps in a later screencast. And it also includes an ad blocker. So yes, I'm going to uh, say, Yes to the block away option. And then this is where you can decide whether or not you want to make it your default browser. If you're going to use it and, and try it out, I would say make it default, at least temporarily. So I'm going to say yes and click next. We'll just say use Arc here and that's it all set up now. So this is my, um, my Arc card, but I'm going to go ahead and click on go explore. There are a few sample pages it sets up, but basically I'm going to delete those so we can start from scratch. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.